Welcome to another video. So, recently, GPT-4 O-Mini got launched. They say that it surpasses GPT-3.5 Turbo and other small models on academic benchmarks across both textual intelligence and multimodal reasoning. The major part about it is that it is really good and has better performance than Gemini 1.5 Flash and is even cheaper than Gemini 1.5 flash. I mean, it only costs 15 cents per 1m input tokens and 60 cents per 1m output tokens, which is really cheap. I mean, it even beats Llama 3 in pricing while being insanely better than it. Even in the benchmarks, you can see that it performs insanely better than the Gemini Flash model, which was one of the cheapest and best models until GPT-4 O-Mini. But now, GPT-4 O-Mini is quite good and even cheaper than Gemini Flash. This pricing makes it really good for multiple applications when something needs to be cost-efficient while maintaining good quality. So, as I generally do with every model, I'll be creating a co-pilot with it to see how well it can perform in a co-pilot scenario. This will also make it the cheapest co-pilot that I'll make after Gemini Flash not counting the local models. Also, this is going to be insanely better than the original GitHub Copilot that costs $10 a month, while being cheaper than the $10 a month cost if you use it effectively. I'm saying this because GitHub Copilot still uses the Codex model based on the GPT-3 model, which should be banned to sell for $10 a month. Anyway, I'll be telling you how you can create a VS Code Copilot with GPT-4 O-Mini, and I'll also tell you how you can create a Shell Copilot with it as well, just like what GitHub Copilot Shell Suggestion feature provides. For that, I'll be using Shell GPT because it's pretty cool and works with all types of providers. And for the Copilot VS Code extension, we'll be using Continue Dev as it's the easiest to install and you can get started with it quite easily. I use it a lot. So, now let's get started. First, you'll need to get the API key from OpenAI, which you can get quite easily through their platform. Once you have that, let's first get Shell GPT installed. To do that, run the pip install shell GPT command. This will get Shell GPT installed on your computer. Once done, run the sgpt command. It will ask you to enter the OpenAI API key. Enter your API key that you just got. Now, it will start working. Although, we'll need to change the model now to GPT-4 O-Mini. To do that, just open the SGPT config file that's located at this path. Once you open it, change the default model to GPT-4 O-Mini. Once done, and it looks like this, save it. Now, you can start using the sgpt command. If you just want text responses, then you can use it without any operator and directly give your prompt. Or if you want shell suggestions, then you can run it with the shell operator and you'll get the shell suggestion for your prompt. It's quite cool. If you want to know more about it, then you can check out my dedicated video on it. I'll link it in the description. Now, we'll need to install the Continue Dev extension. To do that, go to VS Code and in the Extension tab search for Continue Dev. Once you find it, get it installed. Once it has been installed, you'll see the extension on your sidebar. Click the extension and you'll see this screen. Now, on the bottom, you'll see the model's drop-down. Just click the Add button next to it. Now, Choose the OpenAI option over here. Enter the API key. Now, choose the GPT-4 O option. Once you select it, the model will be added. But we don't want to use the GPT-4 O model. We want to use the mini model. So, to do that, click on the settings option. This will open up the config file. Now, over here, change the model name to GPT-4 O mini. Once you have done that, and it looks like this. Save it. Now, your chat interface should start working with the GPT-4 O-Mini model. 
you can easily generate code within your editor by using the command and I shortcut, or you can also generate the code right within the chat interface and directly put it in any file using the insert at cursor option. If you want to give the chat any context of a part of the code, or even the entire code base, you can also do that quite easily within the chat interface. It's really cool as well. So, that's the chat interface. But what about the autocomplete? Well, there are two ways to enable the autocomplete. One way is to use it with the GPT-4 O-Mini model as the autocomplete model, or use a small local model for the autocomplete. Continue Dev recommends using a smaller local model for this, since any computer nowadays can run the smaller 3 billion to 4 billion parameter model. I also recommend this way because there is no apparent difference in autocomplete between big and small models. And when you need to generate code using prompt or chat, you can use the GPT-4 O-Mini model, which is quite cool. But anyway, I'll tell you both ways. If you prefer to use the autocomplete with GPT-4 O-Mini as well, then you'll be able to do that as well. To use it with GPT-4 O-Mini, you can just open up the settings file and over in the tab, autocomplete option, change the provider to OpenAI, change the model to GPT-4 O-Mini, and add the API key like this. Once it looks like this, save it, and your autocomplete should start working with the GPT-4 O-Mini model. But I'll recommend using it with a smaller local model. To do that, we'll need to get Olama installed first. So go to Olama's site, click on the download button, choose your operating system, and get it installed. Once done, go to the models page. Now, we'll need to select a model. I recommend using the Quen 2.1.5b model for the autocomplete tasks because it's super small and can do autocomplete pretty easily. So, just go to the Quen 2 page and select the 1.5b model and copy the installation command. Paste it in your terminal and the model should get installed. Once installed, send a message and check if it works. Now, go to the config file, change the provider to Olama, and change the model name to Quen to 1.5b like this, and save it. Now, your autocomplete should also start working. I'll recommend this way because the autocomplete can be done locally without internet connectivity and without any costs, while the chat and code generation can be done with GPT-4 O-Mini. This is also going to cost you way less than the GitHub Copilot cost because this new mini model is cheaper and you'll only be charged for what you use. So, you can have a good track of your costs and you also get a superior model than the base GPT-3 model you get with GitHub's Copilot. Overall, it's really great. And I think if you're on a quest to reduce costs while still having the same quality, then GPT-4 O-Mini Copilot is going to be really amazing. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the Super Thanks option below. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.